day is evening and I wasn't planning on vlogging today but then buddy and I actually as you saw we went to we went to biology that's biology that buddy worked on so it was kind of like coming home for him I guess and then we um we needed to go to the mall because um, like I mentioned before I have my company party this weekend and buddy needed his outfit because it's themed so um, yeah he we were that's the main reason why we went there and um, so and then since I'm there I needed some other stuff from and this is where I went I went for this the dual this is the brush one I've never used it before I don't really use lashes but yeah anyway and then I got another one of these the Urban Decay all night this is a travel size one so um I still have my max max my Mac fix plus so I'm still gonna use that um um and then I also got one of this this is the sephora brand they have all kinds of skincare this is a green clay mask which is supposed to be purifying and pore perfecting and my pores are huge so breaking out like crazy so i just figured i'll try this it's so cute it's in this little pouch and it, it you can use it four uses four times so while i was gonna buy these three items the lady was like you know we have like a free gift um, if you spend $30 and I was $3 short so I'm like okay well I'll go back out in line so I could have just got like I saw something that was $3 I got this lashes um, it made it $10 so I actually spent a little more than I was planning to so I could get this so I'm gonna open this up right now so it's a bag full of samples fresh youth lotus face cream glam glow water burst another moisturizer coconut skin smooth soothing uh soothing priming moisturizer oh i love i've been wanting to try that and then i got a kate summers will aqua bomb so it's all like moisturizers which is perfect because i kind of liquid collagen water sleeping mask Ooh, bite beauty it's agave lip mask, deep conditioning mask, Fora foundation, um, dramatic different moisturizing gel. I got a lot of moisturizers, so what that means is that I have moisturizers to last me for a while. Um, I like to change it up, so this will last me a long a while, and then I get all these different ones. I'm. I want to say there's I don't know what I'm really excited about well one is the bum bum cream and the other one is a glam glow glow because at they catch you you know at the checkout they have all these travel things or the small miniature size and I was gonna get the glam glow but yeah I have to play with lashes because I haven't used lashes in a while and I don't put them on and I stopped putting them on one reason I really remember why was because it a couple years ago um i vlogged about it before i had like a skin tag on my eyelid like right at my lash line or like right above it and it used to irritate me and i had a hard time putting on like eyeliner and all that kind of stuff and that's probably why i didn't even use lashes so i have to go practice i have two days to do it anyway um i just want to share with you that haul that i got and um yeah that'd be pretty much it I, just, I was excited this is the first time I, I just opened this just now with you guys so that's cool it's a good thing I didn't get all those other stuff because I got all these samples which was so perfect I'm gonna go and check them out and see how I can use some of them I'm so excited anyway um see you guys tomorrow Buddy to school. He's like, 
I go to school in town this semester. But I'm not gonna complain. Well, I am, but because it's far. But um, his school is right across the Locks of Bagels um, bagel shop that I like. So I wasn't gonna go there, but then decided to go there. So here is what I got. Of course, I got the Locks of Bagel. They call it the Manhattan. So obviously with the salmon and the capers and all that. And what I like about over there is you get to choose your bagels. So I got a sun-dried tomato one. And my dear friend Rose here on YouTube. Um, she talked about these cups and I probably mentioned it before. This is a peanut. The yellow one is the peanut butter one. And then the pink one is the chocolate one they have cream cheese in the middle and it's just like a bagel the bagel bread um it's so good i actually had one in the car they didn't have the one i wanted the, uh, the red bean one but that's okay anyway i need to go to like target i need to find buddy some dress shoes because tonight is my company party um and it's a red the theme is red carpet so it's pretty formal um, of course, you're not very required to be really formal because they don't want people to like In all the place they don't want people to like have to like spend a lot of money and all that kind of stuff, but um, we're going pretty formal me and buddy and um, Yeah, so I'm so tired So let me just get my morning started and that way I can do the errands that I need unclear who the president is with on the golf course but typically when he travels there he is with a military aid they have with them uh, the nuclear football and other contingencies okay uh, now that life is kind of back to normal for a moment there i thought it was my last moment on earth and buddy wasn't even here mom's freaking out everybody's freaking out everyone's going on social media and if you don't already know what I'm talking about, you saw the previous clip. We got an alert that a ballistic missile is on its way. Not a drill. This is for real. And we're like, no sirens were going off. You know, Mike, me and my nephew's like, there's no sirens going off. There's nothing on the news. And about 40 minutes later, they. Be 40 minutes later they made the official saying that it was a drill not a drill it was not a drill it was a mistake someone had accidentally tr whatever they did um and now everything's on the news um we got the um the notification before the official announcement was made um through news and stuff and through other social medias and all that and then on cnn and stuff my gosh like honestly thought this was my last day here on earth and um, hug your loved ones tomorrow's never promise I always say that and today really puts that in real perspective but he's home from school already because they sent them home oh, what a way to start this Saturday morning I tell you And it has a train somewhere over there. You see that? But yeah. So like I said, the theme was red carpet affair, and I probably put a picture of Buddy too. Um. But yeah, that's our company party out at the Colina Four Seasons. It's so nice there, but the food was pretty good. Um, the prime rib was pretty good. So anyway, I did my own makeup and I actually wore lashes and it's been a while since I've worn lashes. So yeah, I don't know. Hey guys, so I'm gonna take my makeup off. Make off. Makeup off. But I kind of want to talk to you guys about 
what went on today if you haven't already seen the news if you don't live in hawaii and if you haven't seen the news i don't know how you don't see the news but um, we people of hawaii got a alert on their phones on the tv i thought that there were no sirens that went off but i believe that some areas did get um the siren notification but we were notified via all of that that the ballistic missile was on its way and they told us to seek shelter and this is not a drill and to get that at like eight o'clock in the morning it's kind of like wait a minute what's going on um i was kind of you know my nephew was here and um he was up he got the notification i were like i told him basically what the f is going on like is this for real you know um it's kind of it was just i don't know how to describe it it was just so, so surreal like my mom was freaking out honestly i was freaking out we all were like what do we do my nephew like what do we do what do you do basically you can't really do anything unless you can seek shelter right away which we you know they say to go with like some with a concrete building or something like that there really isn't some place like that i can just think of like we don't really have a full proof protocol in town in hawaii i guess right so sorry if that grosses is you know, but um it is to live it to live in that moment it is just a feeling that i don't wish upon anybody um the feeling of unknown the feeling of fear um they put the whole the public in such a frenzy in such a panic like I was in a panic what do we do where do we go try to call the rest of our family members and the thing that really got to me was when um but he called me um if i didn't already i probably mentioned it earlier he was in school and i had just gotten back um from dropping him off to school and getting breakfast and stuff like that and um he had called me and he says if i don't see you i love you and then i hung up and i kind of just like that like really sunk in and that was really scary you know trying to call the rest of the family members and all that kind of stuff was like what do we do so basically when we get a notification like that they say that we only have 15 minutes to seek shelter 15 minutes basically we all die it's a ballistic missile it's a nuke we're gonna die and I don't know but just knowing that that feeling of just those feelings like it is scary guys like really scary you know my best friend was in Puerto Rico when Maria hit Puerto Rico and she lived through the whole thing with her husband her two kids and um, she moved back home to Hawaii to be with family to deal to heal and um i feel so bad for her like i was thinking about it now after we got the you know um through social media before they actually officially announced they did say that it was a mistake um and it was you know it's not real but going back to my friend when we, that's when me and I'm, I was sitting with my mom just listening to the news when it finally was on the news um, and I thought about her and the thing that I know she went through a whole ordeal um, in Puerto Rico and she still is trying to deal with it now and I just thought about her and I was like can you just imagine having to go she went through she said it's a natural disaster versus a man-made but still yet the fear of not knowing or just that fear in you not knowing what's going to happen tomorrow knowing that the end is near and that's what it was i was like thinking about i don't have buddy with me 
and I had my mom with me, which is, you know, I'm glad to have had her with me, but I didn't have my husband. And that really made me sad. And I'm never gonna see my family again when this is it. This is the end for the people of Hawaii. That's it. They're gonna wipe us out. And it's scary because I know this is a reality that you know that that's going around that this is what can really happen it's just it just scares me and I don't like I said I don't wish it upon anybody um, anybody to experience anything like this and I know people do and I know people have I've been in like where like driving where um, you know it's like oh my gosh I could get hit by that car or whatever but something like this where where it's scary like like this the fear of knowing that you're gonna die is just crazy I mean me being the pri 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 you know not pri uh, positive person I try to be a positive person like honestly I really do feel for that person who Mistake, you know, like mistakenly made that mistake of hitting the wrong button or whatever the person did. Um, yeah, hitting that wrong message out. You know, and everybody talks about how it took so long for um the uh, reply back to say that it was fate, and I get, it. and it's scary because. It did take a long time. It took about almost 40 minutes. And yeah, think about you guys all work. But you know, I mean, those are that have held jobs or whatever. There's protocols, and that's what I think about. I mean, some people think that I'm crazy to say like you know. But if that's one thing, if there's one thing that you can take away from this is. you know you're able to live another day it was a mistake of somebody and yes it could have been worse had it gone completely there and the military had like gone full force and tried to like whatever you know it could have turned into a whole war and that just that is was very unnecessary but we're humans we make mistakes uh, not to say that like oh yeah let's forgive this person I mean made a mistake it cost a lot and it or like fear and panic in so many people I just wanted to share you share with you my point of view of it um hug your loved ones I say it all the time hug your loved ones tomorrow is never promised and you know make things right I think Hawaii will Hawaii loves a little harder today um, appreciate your life appreciate what you have don't think things for granted of course um, we shouldn't be but I know sometimes we get caught up in whatever situation we're in and all the things that we do throughout life and it just happens and um, I just kind of want to share my feelings about it and what what I felt during it and what I feel now that it's you know it's sunk in for now it hasn't been 24 hours but um it's been some time since the morning it's already the late night but just be grateful for what you have right now live life to its fullest because you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow anyway guys sorry I just like rubbed my eye but I'm gonna call it a night I'm gonna go shower and then edit some videos that will work tomorrow thanks for watching hope you had a good one and um, just love everybody and be kind just goodbye